Hello everyone, I am Shyam Nath, back again with another video. So today in this video, we'll be talking about arrays and we'll be talking about what are arrays, uh, how can we use arrays. So let's get started. So before moving on to arrays, I must tell you that array is a data structure in which we can actually store multiple values with the help of similar data type just like integer array double array or string array okay so let's jump on to the code before writing uh, we will not write that code here we will just create a separate file so just click on the first icon you can see if I zoom in click on the first icon new file and then write it array dot dot now we will uh, initialize an array just like this var names i will consider a string array and this is an empty array this is how we initialize an array and in this array we will just give uh, the values just like this as it is a string array i have told you we will wrap the text with inverted commas just like this now let's just write it I think I have written the spellings correctly and this is an array now how array looks like what are the indexes of array let's jump into the sketch board first this is a sketch board virtually and array looks like this one two we have taken five elements So one, two, three, four, five. So the starting index of an array is always zero. Then one, two, three, four. And the most important thing is the starting index is zero. Just remember that. Let's write me a starting index of an array is zero. Just remember this, it's a very important and crucial thing because if you want to uh, access the first element, you need to refer to the 0th index because you can't uh, then uh, access the first element of the array. So here is the element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and each array has a base index and it may be anything just like 1000, 2000. Uh, 1043 like that it depends upon the back end of the program that what is going on and uh, in array it's not like linked list that uh, every address will be different the in a particular array if the base and in, base index is uh, base address sorry not base index base address is 1000 then the next thing if it is an integer array the next uh, base address uh, then the next address will be 1004 okay so depending upon the bytes of the data types it depends uh, sometimes maybe it 1002 for other so it is like that so this is how we create array so now using a program we need to calculate the length of the array by using this array okay just like this main and we will copy this 
was to save time now print save start length uh, the length function returns the integer value that how many that how much big the array is so let's run it cd basics we are into the basics folder just hit ls to make sure that the file is content in that uh, folder or not yes it's there array so i have told you that it runs by the command dart space the file name array dot dart and it should return me five let's see yes it returns five so it's as easy as that let's say now i want to actually uh, access a particular element so how can we do do that i have previously told you that uh, we can and the array actually starts with index 0 so after that uh, we can access it just like this if i want to access ronaldo how can we do that names so ronaldo is in 0 1 2 means 2 let's run it uh, just comment it out because i want only one output and that should be ronaldo like this and if we want to print the whole list we can also do that let me show you let's comment it out this is how we actually print the uh, whole list and let's run it see it just prints the whole list and now we can do many operations like I'll show you now just say I want to remove the last element of the array okay just only the last element we can uh, remove any element but by using the specific index but in this case I want to just remove the last element so there is a command known as remove last okay so how uh, to ensure that it is actually removing let us just watch for it and I will get three out, uh, three output this one this one and this one let's run it let's hit control L and let's run it see five names and there is another and and the function remove last also return the element of the array which is removed okay and there are several commands like this we can also remove a particular element these are the things which actually requires in flutter sometimes so that's why we are doing this see here it is pointing out the index that which it, uh, which one do you actually want to remove i want to remove ronaldo now so let's type 2 and then print let's see what happens let's run this code see the ronaldo is removed then the array remains neymar messi mbappe it's as good as this and there are many sort of functions like sort and many things and we will go step by step uh, in the next video i'll be talking about that uh, how maps work in dart so I want to give an assignment in this video just do some array operations other than this and tag us with shayunna235 and dsc kit we will feature you in the source story and don't forget to give the hashtag dart
and do it you will learn something and stay tuned for the other videos thank you for watching it if you like the video please do subscribe and like this video and uh, click on the bell notification icon and i will be actually committing this all the code and pushing it to github you can uh, also refer this to the from the github this files okay and stay tuned thank you for your love and support have a great day bye